And don't be in too much of a rush. You know, we'll get there eventually. Here again, I'm trying to maintain lighter there and not as light here. So less pressure, more pressure. I want to say this drawing you do on Thursday, most likely you'll get, if, if at all, you'll get a little bit of the white pencil put in given the time frame we have for Thursday. But uh, I might suggest for Thursday, unlike the days we have those two-week poses, or the two-day poses, you can crop in on just an area to um, be able to get enough time to get to the white pencil. So if, you wanna, uh, if you're close enough on Thursday and you want to crop into just the head and shoulders, that's fine. Push some of the go back. Push some of the darker darks. So, like I say, it's a back and forth kind of thing. It's not like you do all the white or all the black pencil, then do all the white pencil, and you're done. Um, I just suggest get a lot of work with the black pencil in the beginning, so it's easy to assess white pencil um, decisions and where things like that are going to be put down. But, I'm in the stage now of bouncing back and forth. Back right under the, I don't know if I could say the tone of the paper could take on that value, so I'm going to pull it up. shadow coming in in there. Pull that reflecting light up a little bit. There's going to be elements of the pose, you know, as um, uh, what you guys have already, you know, probably dealt with when the model gets back into a pose where things change a little bit. Like I say, if you got enough of a strong foundation down in the beginning, you can work with those little changes and you don't have to worry about, you know, um, not that she's changing, she's actually doing a very good job, but sometimes, um, you know, when the model does change, it doesn't mean like, oh my god, the it's changed to such a way where this tiny little shape is different. Let me re-erase and just do the whole thing again. No, if you got your proportions down, you relatively know where the form's turning, you know, you can work with that. And you gotta redo the whole thing. I mean, if it's extreme and you realize, well, it was, it's off because of a misassessment, then that's something else. Then you do need to readjust and make sure it's working.
push the value in the hair a little bit. And this will pop up a little bit in one of the values of the head. I say this is now looking a lot lighter than it did earlier because of the values here, 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 and here in relation to that area. So. This is the fun part everybody wants to get to early, but you're kind of seeing now, I'm just now getting to suggesting it. There's things in the eyes. Probably take out a little bit of that white in the eye. And hair, I want to say, is kind of like drapery. Every time a model gets back into the pose, the hair is going to be a little different. Even if you know you put it back and you know behind somebody's ear, in front of somebody's ear, there's still going to be a little bit of changes. So. Um, if you're paying attention to it as a, just a big shape, again, it goes back to that issue. It'll be easier to deal with it. A few suggestions to the strands, but going overboard with that. And the dark um, 